So I usually ride my bike down here and like meet friends for a drink and then it's more like we decide we're really hungry and we're like, what's around? What's in the area? And it's a good way, you know, if you're not familiar with any of the menus, it's not like it's fun to try something new and there's always a new food truck on the street so you can check out, you can just peruse, like go door to door and see and like, oh, there's nothing on that menu I want. I'm going to go to this one instead. And it's not as formal. You don't have to deal with the hostess who's going to seat you and then look at a menu and decide you don't want to eat there. You know, it's less awkward. It's a lot easier to just make quick decisions and it's just getting a bite. You know, it's, it's not like a big, it's not like a formal thing. One of the first things I used to tell people, the new truck that came online here in, the, in our community was, hey, you know, be nice, be friendly, communicate with your with your neighbors, and you know, don't park in front of somebody's restaurant, don't park in front of somebody's business without consulting with them first, you know, that kind of thing. And that's been part of, you know, I've been in the restaurant business for 25 years, so I know how hard the restaurant business is in and of itself. And, you know, when I started this business, I... I knew I didn't want to step on anybody's toes, you know. I didn't want there to be pushback against food trucks and, and on a bunch of different levels, you know. I wanted to do a great product. I wanted to be clean and safe. I wanted to be friendly and inviting. I wanted people to be excited about when we came. And to do that, you have to be a good neighbor. Well, I will tell you, when I started my food truck, um, I'd wanted to go into business for myself for many years prior to starting my food truck. And the food truck was an inexpensive way for me to get my business up and running. Where I come from, you know, every town had a little burger shack. Um, I thought we needed something like that here in Durham. Uh, my favorite part of working on the food truck, though, is uh, my direct communication and interaction with my customers. I actually talk to my customers directly. I hand them their food. Um, <laughs> we can engage in a conversation. And what's your name? Nick. Nick? I got another Nick up there. What's your last initial? Um, a. a? You sure about that? The first time I had Only Burger, we were down at um, this arts festival, and Only Burger was parked, and I was like, dude, I am not eating off a truck. And he was like, well, I'm hungry. I'm eating off the truck. So we went and looked, and I was like, wait, those are fries. Wait, let me see those fries. And I was like, these are the best fries I've ever had. I think it's fun to have people who are entrepreneurial and find the wherewithal to put together food on a truck and have people chase them down and find the food. We have been in business for one year and 11 days today. Uh, we beat the odds of most restaurants. Uh, average lifespan is about six months. So we are still growing, uh, definitely seeing more growth opportunities for our business and uh, we're very encouraged about that. So it's important for me to be in East Durham for a couple reasons. One, Durham in general has been very open and kind of pioneer for the food trucks in the state of North Carolina. East Durham in particular, uh, this is an area of the city that has not had its string of good luck over the past 20 years. So porchetta is an Italian style, basically it's the Italian's version of barbecue that they've been doing for centuries. So much like Eastern North Carolina has the vinegar barbecue, you know, Memphis is known for their dry rub. Um, porchetta is known in, in Italy as their barbecue. So what we 
what traditionally is done is they take whole hog, they debone it, they stuff it with rosemary, sage, thyme, garlic, fennel, black pepper. It all really varies from family to family what those ratios are, but it's that basic profile. And then it's slow roasted until it's fall apart tender. They slice it off, put it on a nice ciabatta bun. Thank you. Thank you very much, y'all. Really guys. appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. So we've got the pig. Got a couple pigs. We've also got a couple of chickens. A couple chickens. And we also have a goat. So there's no goats. There are two lambs. No llama. We, we, we've had demented kangaroo. We, we've asked about llama, but, but it is actually a goat. We've had everything from, a, is it a donkey? Is that a kangaroo? It can be whatever you want it to be, as long as you walk up to the truck and check out the menu. So you sure it's not a donkey? So what excites me most about opening or owning Porchetta um, is being able to get out there on the streets day in and day out, meet new people and excite people about what we're doing. Um, almost on a daily basis, I have somebody that comes to the truck and goes, yes, we've been trying to find you for forever and we love what you're doing. And to see that kind of reaction and to make people happy with what we're doing um, excites me and makes me happy and makes me feel like um, makes me feel fulfilled. Hey there. Hi, sorry, name is Ray. And no cheese or bacon on that truck, it's 60 with tax. And you want a Mountain Dew, right? Ketchup napkins are in there. And I had one here floating around, there it is. And a Mountain Dew, thanks buddy. There were no food trucks around, so, you know, people's conception of a food truck was really, you know, they belong on a construction site or their roach coaches was, is the common term used. Um, and so we really had to focus on um, cleaning up that image. The Indie Awards, um, we have a local magazine here in town called The Indie. You can find it all over town. Um, and to me, it's probably one of the, my favorite awards to win. They do an annual best of edition of their magazine and we've been very fortunate that uh, we've won best burger four years in a row the four years that we've been up and running and been uh, able to win the award and it's my favorite award to win because I know it's the folks here in town that are voting for it and those are the people that are my customers so I love winning that award it's the fried green tomato burger that's one I created at the farmers market early on in my uh, when we started up the truck uh, it's fried green tomato and a fried egg and, uh, and some pimento cheese that we make. And that one's pretty good too and pretty popular. So, and I like that one a lot. I love the fried green tomato one. That one's really good too. So, I always get the fried green tomato burger. Certainly, of the street meat varieties, it is the best that I have tried. The burgers are good. Because they make their patties. I think this is it. They make their patties only out of pure beef. Well, if I had to guess, I would say that it's because they only serve hamburgers. That's a good question. I don't know. Because there are a lot of burgers in Durham. But it is a very good burger. I don't know. Because they only serve burgers. Or maybe it's the only burger in town, but they don't really give off that presumptuous of a vibe. So. I'm not sure because they, they do have fries. I like the uh, Mediterranean. Uh, the sausages, the chicken and apple sausage is fantastic. The garlic basil sausage is very good. And I'm about to try the beef and lamb sausage, which I am really anticipating because they're really good. I mean, we came out here one night and there, there was no food trucks here. and We didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs>